And uh, this one's up and running, and that one's off, and that one's running. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna walk you through using some compression and limiting. We're actually gonna take a look at a session and see what we can do. First of all, as we open this up, let me just play you what we got going with our session at the moment. Love is for Christmas. La da da, la da da. Love is for Christmas. Awesome. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually take a look at some item by item, track by track stuff to see how this whole compression thing works. First of all, I have a couple of things I want to look at. I'm going to start with the drums and I'm going to walk you through just some, some simple things with compression. First of all, I'm going to be looking at the SSL channel. I love it because it's a great, easy uh, compressor to work with and it kind of talks, it really speaks to some of the values that we're going, to, we're going to talk about. So let me open this up real quick and let's take a look at this first kick drum. Let's listen to the drums by themselves. Actually, let's put us in a place where... Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this SSL channel. For now, I'm going to get rid of this uh, CLA. I'm going to zoom in just a touch. But the big thing I want to look at is the dynamic section right here. Um, as we solo this down and then open it back up with the overheads and everything else that, that has stuff going on. So first of all, in our dynamic section here, um, on the SSL, what we're looking at is we have the basic uh, ratio for compression. Um, and of course, it turns over into limiting once we go above 10 to 1. So we do get limiting functions as soon as we get up towards the top here. We have limiting functions. I'm sorry. Better off. There we go. Um, and what we can do though is we're going to work with the the kick drum a little bit so a lot of times i'm in anywhere in between four and six to one let's try six to one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to watch my meters down here this is the meter for gain reduction as i set up my threshold and i'm going to adjust my attack and release so there's a release knob but notice there's not an, an attack knob but there is an attack switch so attack is either by default um, moderate or fast. One of the only issues with the fast attack, sometimes it snaps a little too hard, so we just kind of have to listen to it. Let's take a listen. All right, let's go and engage this. You can see gain reduction taking place now, and then it's just a matter of adjusting your release time. Notice the fast attack actually sub subdues it a little too hard. We could still use it. We're gonna have to reset our values. bypass it now with we can use the output here as a makeup once we get there we're like hey we, we we need some volume back we can push it here we got room getting a lot more punch it's a little more focused we use fast, fast attack a little bit here Let's open it up with the kit. Now the other thing I have in here going on is um, I actually use this Glenn. I use the Glenn Johns overhead, and if I get if I take if I take it out, 
Let's just take a look at the drums. If I take it out, you'll see the difference. Put it back in. And what I actually did with these is these are processed. These are the these are literally duplicates processed in a different method uh, to extract some of the tones. So if we go back out, there's one. There's the other. It's got a little more compression built into it. Okay, well that's the SSL. Let's take a look at, at what we can do over here with the, I love the CLA 2As. These I'm a huge fan of. This is a little different. So let's talk about this, this device right here real quickly. Um, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna see the gain reduction come in on the meter, but we have uh, an option of the fixed compression or, or a fixed limiter value. And so we don't notice, we don't really get the ratio options um, what, where we drive the actual compression amounts is all about how much, um, peak reduction we deliver. Right. And so, um, and then you can see we have a gain makeup. So as we draw it out, we could go to no peak reduction if we wanted to. And let's listen to that real quick. Or we can start drawing it back. And then we make it up right here. Nice and solid through and through. Let's listen to what the group. Love is for Christmas. La da da. La da da. Love is for Christmas. La da da. La da da. I, I like that one. That's a lot more pocket. Let's take a look at the snare. So let's do the same thing with the snare. We're going to go look at the snare. Um, we could look at the SSL or we could look at the, I mean, I, again, I'm such a fan of the CLA uh, 2. I already have one on here. Let's see. Da -da -da. Well, actually, sorry. Let's go to someplace that's not a cross stick. Let's go to the actual. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Now you can see mine working. This is my snare drum CLA-2A. Let me bypass it, or leave it on and then bypass it, let you listen to it. Notice it's in the, it's in the limit path for this. So let's take a look. Let's bypass it. So it's actually getting a lot of snap. What I did with the, when I built the overheads, is these overheads are designed to center in on the snare pretty well. So let's listen to the tone of the snare and the overheads by themselves real quick. Let's add in that snare print. Now, a lot of times when we're setting this up, we we have to look at some gate values. And we hadn't talked about the gate, but just so you know, on this, there's an SSL gate that's actually being applied that allows us to have that open close timing sound sound good with the with the snare drum. If we go and solo it and bypass it. It's not always like super tight. It's really just kind of allowing the cymbals to be a little more subdued in the in-betweens. All right, that's it for now. We're going to take a look at something else in just a moment.